Hello, we'll come back again. So in today's class, uh, we will again try to create a table using HTML where uh, we will be using column span and then row span. So in our um, previous class, we have already learned how to create a basic uh, table using HTML. So the tag used like a table row and then a table data is the same. But out here, suppose like, let's take an example. If you want to create a table like this, for example, where certain uh, cells detect uh, different rows and then columns. So in, in, those, in this type of um, tables, we can use column span and then row span. So column span and then row span means how many columns a particular cell will deck or occupy. Or else a uh, row span means how many rows a particular cells will occupy so whenever you uh, try to create a temp table that looks uh, maybe something like this we first thing we have to identify is that how many rows or columns a particular cells will take so each of these are cells and table and then and a table is a combination of rows and columns. So out here in our first cell here, these are uh, computer courses, two cells, it takes one row, right? After that, we have to identify how many columns it takes. So out here, if we tr imaginary, uh, an imaginary, if we try to complete this table, it will occupy one column, and then this is the second column, after that, this is the third column. So, these computer courses will it will take one, two, and then a three columns, and then one row, and then these courses, these cells, it will take only one column. After that, the row is it will take one row here, another row here, row here, row here. So this uh, cell will all together it will take four columns. So as after that, this cell, it will take only one column, one row, one column, one row, one column, one row, and so on. After that, here, long term, it will take again one, two, three columns. After that, these courses, it will take three rows that goes from left to right. And then one, these three distings, it will take only one column and then one row. So the, uh, the important thing is that we have to uh, identify how many rows or columns a particular cells will occupy. So according to that, we can use a column span or a row span. For example, a cell may occupy both rows and columns. So in those case, we can um, identify, uh, I mean define how many rows or columns it will take or else if a particular cell takes only a, occupy only a multiple number of uh, columns, we have to create it according to that one. So let us try to create a table uh, like this. So I already have the basic structure of HTML. So inside this header, let's say welcome. Okay. After that, inside this let's create one heading two after that this are some computer courses we offer all right so it can be any heading as you wish now uh, let's start to create our table so the tag used to create a table is table after that, if you want to align it, you can align it if, if you wish. Let's align it center. After that, you can give a height and width. For now, let's give only width is equal to, let's try 50%. So it will take 50% of our browser. After that, if you want to give a border, border is equal to, let's say, 3. Alright, so we have a table. We have already aligned it to center. And then the width is fifty percent. After that, we have a three pixel border. All right. So that is the starting deck to create a table. Now, first thing what we have to do is we have to create a 
table row tr after that inside this table row we have to insert the data and then we have to identify how many columns or rows it takes so let's say td after that let's write computer courses table data okay now if we go back and then check our example this computer courses this table row it takes one two three columns so inside this table data we have to write column span col is b a n is equal to we have to write three that means this particular row it will take three columns now let's uh, save this one save as i will save it in H my folder html5 after that let's write table one okay after that dot html now let's check it inside our browser so we already have the first row here okay now let's try to create this one for courses so when we see courses it will be in a new row because it is in new line right so um, it will be under one double row and then these courses it will take one two three after that four rows and then it will take only one columns so let's go back after that let's close this table row after that inside this let's create another row after that table data and then c o u r s e s courses all right or well, again these courses like i've said we take it will take only row span and then it takes only one column so by default it always takes one so we do not have to uh, t define the row name i mean uh, column column numbers so it takes four right so let's save it let's go back to our browser after that let's refresh it so we already have your courses now let's try to add the different subjects and then the duration here so what we have to do is uh, inside this same um, table row we have to create a table data after that let's say ccc table data after that inside this table data again we have to write for the duration two months okay now these courses it takes four rows so we have to create a table row here and then we have to close the table row here all right so this is the cell for the courses table row let's close this table row okay now let's save it let's go back to our browser and then refresh it okay so we have to see two months now if we go on adding it this cell will get expanded because we already defined that these courses it will take four columns so let's go after that let's do it like this after that this one is cc wd two months okay after that let's go on creating the table row and then again this one is let's say graphic design okay now let's save it let's go back and then refresh it so it will appear like this so out here these courses it takes one column four table rows now let's create this one so these long term courses it will take only one row and then one two and three columns so we have to define the column name instead of rows so table row table data after that long term courses ok 
Okay, and then since this long term dex it dex column span is equal to four. We have to write column span four. After that, we have to close our table row. Okay, now let's save it. Let's check it again. So okay, now after this long term courses similar to this one, let's create this one. Okay, now we have to create a table row. After that, inside this table row, we have a table data. After that courses slash table data let's save it let's go back and then refresh it so we already have the courses now now these courses it takes only one column but one two and then three three rows so we have to define the row numbers okay so out here row span is equal to we have to it takes three right so we have to define it like this let's close our table row okay after that we have to insert those data in different rows so table data all level after that inside that same row we have one table data after that one year after that let's close our table row okay now let's save it let's try to check it inside our browser whether it's working or not okay now again we have to create one table row and then add for one more course so let's copy the same thing so out here we have after that here we have three okay so these courses it takes three table rows so one two and then three now let's go back refresh it okay so we all have already created the table so the, uh, we have to remember is how many rows or how many columns it takes we have to identify that one now what if we want to make this uh, align it to center pole and so on we have to use the same html deck which we have learned in our previous classes like in alignments or and formatting in fonts so from starting from here let's align it center and then make it pulled so let's go up so here we have a computer courses we want this one to be pulled so you can use b or else you can use strong so since I want only this one let me close it let's save it let's go back and then if we refresh it it is in pulled now if you want to align this one at the center we, I want this one to be at the center so inside this table data we have to define it align is equal to center so if we do it like that that this way whatever contents we have added to the table data it will be aligned to the center so let's save it let's check it out again so it is bold and then it is aligned center now we can follow the same for all of these things so let's go back here uh, where is my long term courses okay let's make it bold it's strong after that let's uh, close the strong here okay after that let's align it center so let's go back here align is equal to center so it will be bold and then it will be aligned center so if we refresh it so it is aligned center so let's make this one appear at the center again the main heading so let's go up these are some out here align is equal to sender okay so now we already got it so it depends on the type of the table but uh, you can uh, modify or you can create your own table using this uh, column span and then row span 
So the thing is that we have to identify how many rows or columns each of these cells takes and then accordingly you can uh, create it but uh, instead of uh, creating from step by step you can if you can you can just create a sample table and then after that you can specify different columns or rows each cells will take so um, that is the end of our today's class so thank you so much and then uh, see you in the next class